Here we are, we're in Sydney. Yep. What you trying to do, Jeremy? Try to find... Well, I've been here before a long time ago, but it's been a while. So I really have no fucking idea where anything is. Right. So, we'll probably just drive around for a second and see what we can find here. Trying to look for bars, I can guys. Tell you one thing right now that uh, the road I'm turning on, it's uh, Cork Street, it says. Well, it's also. The sun's also fucking bright. In my face, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. But besides that, the way that I went is also a way out towards the restaurants, which is actually where I should have got off the highway at in the first fucking place. But. All right. I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't nothing that we were going to pass up. So that's why we got off here. Here, you can go DJ at Dollar, Dollar General. Yeah. You want to be a Dollar General? Dollar General DJ. <laughs> that sounds like a real DJ, doesn't it? Yeah, Dollar General. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm going to rename my DJ service Dollar General DJ. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Sydney's not a bad looking place. I mean, you know, extraordinary fucking hick and town. I charge a few dollars when I DJ. You know, about 150 of them. You're funny. <laughs> but yeah, basically the way we're going now is going to take us out by the restaurants and back out by I Highway I-75 again. But it'll also take us by the hospital, I believe, if I if memory serves right. We're just trying to find uh, we're just trying to find you know some bars out here. Try, you know, figure I film you know DJs trying to get work. So, if, you know, you're beginning beginner DJs that haven't got a job yet, or I'm on tape, this is how you do it. And so, and you know, Jeremy, he's, he's, he's beginning, but he's, he's wise at the, he's been around the business, so he's been around it, always wanted to do it, so he kind of has an idea of doing it, I mean. I watched him do it before. I went in the bar and watched him put his card out and stuff. He does it like you're supposed to. He does it good. And that's because, you know, he's been in sales and he's done his thing. And as far as DJing goes, you know, he's, you know, he's learned off, you know, me. He's learned off this being in the business, being around it. I mean, but, you know, I said he was lucky because when I started, I, I, I had to just do it from scratch. So I had to. Do what I had to do. Okay, we got a place over here to the right called Wang Wangers or Wingers or some bullshit like that I just saw, so. Good shit. We may stop by, by there. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna let him so we don't so we don't look tacky as fuck, I'm gonna let him go into a place, put in something. And that actually he's a he's the driver. He's gonna let me go well, he's gonna go into a place first, and then uh I'm going to go into a place. We're not yeah, going to the, the same place. Row. We got some highway bums or homeless Yeah, what are they doing? Or I'm not sure what they're doing. We have some highway bums. <laughs> hey, Waffle House, you can DJ there. And see, the sad part about all that, the whole highway bump thing, is that it's hard to be a nice person because you don't know who's faking it and who's just milking it for free. Right. You, know? you never know anymore, really. And you never know who's a psycho. You're funny. So, I mean, if I saw Jose on the side <laughs> of the road, I mean, I would think psycho. Right. You still haven't seen this man, I don't think, yet. No, he, they have not seen Jose yet, dude. Well, you know, we're only about a half hour from where Jose's at right now. <laughs> we could always make a, a detour to Union City and fucking punch him in the face or something. Well, you got, I'm telling you guys, now, now, when you meet this guy, and I'm gonna not, I'm not going to stress it enough, if he offends anyone, I'm sorry. He's an idiot. He's he's losing. A, he's missing a few screws up there. So loud fucking car right there. Go by because I can't stand that sound. Loud car. I can't believe I just went psychotic. I can't. <laughs> okay. Now we're reaching towards what's the end of the town for the most part. I don't think there's shit out here. So there ain't no bars in this fucking place, is there? Well, there might be some downtown. We didn't take we didn't take the full downtown tour. All right. Um, I'm sure there's bars here. Um, 
If not, then I guess it was a waste. But that doesn't matter. I'm sure there's at least, there's got to be something around there's there. There's got to be some bar around here. I mean, geez. We got high marks, great foods and spirits. I doubt we're going to stop there. We got, what the hell is this? Goffina Furniture. We ain't stopping there, obviously. Fultz Carpet Warehouse. Lowe's. Yeah, we're not stopping there. <laughs> yeah. But we are going to turn around there because, well, we're pretty much out of the fucking town. I mean, pretty much. We'll be going to, like, uh, Ansonia. There's a town called Ansonia up there road here. There's Menards. Right next to Lowe's. Isn't that kind of strange? Yeah, Menards uh, right next to Lowe's. Yeah, like their competition's right next door. I mean, that's... Uh, kind Who's of winning? I think they're tying because Lowe's is not that busy and Menards is not that busy, so I think they're what, at a tie. Yeah, I can give a fuck less, truthfully. <laughs> I mean, it ain't money in my pocket, so who cares, right? That, with all due respect, it's it's a, it's a, a DJ log, not a Menards and Lowe's <laughs> competition log. <laughs> so who gives a shit? You're funny. I, that's how I see it. Uh, you know, let's just keep going on this little strip. I want to see what the hell this turns into. We got something with a big fucking D on the front. I have no idea what it is. With a horse. Yeah, with a horse on it. Fuck, man. There ain't, I mean. There ain't jack shit back where we're at, is there? So what we're going to do is a little, little illegal maneuver I like to call a U-turn in the middle of the fucking road. That's funny. Just because there's no one here so they can kiss our fucking ass. If a cop pulls you over, I'd tape him. I'd tape <laughs> his ass too. You guys see a fucking Shelby County big one? You too. Right. Oh, by the way, I, I didn't mean that in case one of you guys are and you're watching this. <laughs> you know how it is. Even if you're a cop, you know how it is. Yeah, you're funny. You're that guy and you two called me a pig. Even cops hate cops. At least that's they, true. What they say, so you know. That's true. So I'd like to retract that statement if I could. <laughs> Just sip on my. That's ice, right. My semi-cold Pepsi from Taco Bell, where the people are stupid. We should have recorded that. You guys missed out on that one. We, yeah, we, they were dumb. We must have went to Retardville, USA, Taco Bell. I tell you. You're funny. Now that statement I will not retract. What the I fuck is that. that place back there? Uh, nothing. Oh that. shit, I can't hold the camera straight because I'm stupid. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> PSG? That doesn't look like it'd be a bar, that's for sure. Right. As you can see, it's like... Okay. Just when I think my town sucks. Hey, you gotta admit though, man. It's better than living in Lima, wouldn't it? Yeah, Lima's not. I, I just don't prefer Lima. Do so you miss? I do not you know, miss I Lima. I miss Lima, especially since I'm so close to it still. Anyhow. Right. <clears throat> See, we're all we're both from Lima, but we live in Walpaw. And let me tell you, I don't miss Lima. Sportscasters is in Lima. Mo I work in Lima, pretty much. But so do I. And he does too. Yeah. I work in Lima and I work at St. Mary's. That's about as much as I want to see the place. I don't want to live in it. Now. <clears throat> I doubt there's a bar hidden back here in these little this strip by Big Lots and all that pool. So, but uh, we're just gonna pass that by. But now, we'll we'll uh, we'll get back at you here in about a few minutes. Jeremy, want to say the magic words? Practice and enjoy.